Here we have a word problem that can be solved using the law of sines. And remember, the law of sine says that if you take the sine of angle A and put it over side A, it's the same as when you take the sine of angle B and put it over side B, which is the same as the sine of angle C over side C. And since we have these um, this kind of three-way proportion here, we can use that if we've got a sine and an angle and then some other one where we have either the side or the angle, we can solve for those. And usually we can end up solving the whole triangle. Well, let's read this problem first. It says, as shown in the figure below, Chow is standing 45 feet from the base of a leaning tree. Hmm, that doesn't look safe. The distance from the bottom to the top of the tree is 67 feet, so this side of the triangle is 67. And the angle of elevation from where Chow is standing to the top of the tree is 68 degrees, so this angle here is 68. Find the angle theta here that the tree is leaning and round to the nearest tenth. Okay, well, I think... The first thing I want to do here is just put some labels because we're dealing with sine A, B, C. Um, I'm just going to arbitrarily put some, some letters on here. I'm going to call this angle A, which would make this side A. And we're looking for theta, so I'll just call that B. And this is side B. And this would make this side C and this angle C. Now let's see how we can go about this. We have angle and side for A. And then the only other measurement we have is side C. So I think what we need to do is solve for angle C and then just subtract whatever we get plus 180 from, uh, uh, from 180 to get this, uh, the remaining angle theta. So that's our approach. Let's set up our law of sines here. So I'm going to start with sine of A over A. So that's the sine of 68 degrees over 67. And we're going to set that equal to sine C over C. We don't know angle C. That's what we're looking for. So I'll just write sine of C. And the side C is 45. And I'm just going to do a little bit of algebra for it before I pull out the calculator. I'm going to multiply both sides by 45. So here it cancels. And I'm going to punch all of this stuff into my calculator and then just take the inverse sine of what I get that should solve for C. So let me pull out my calculator here. So 68, and then I press the sign button, and then I divide that by 67, and I multiply that by 45, and then I punch inverse sign. Aha, and I got 30, well, 38.5. So C equals 38.5, although, you know, with the law of science, there's a possibility it could equal uh, the, the number on the other side. So you'd subtract this from 180 and you would get 141.5 as a possible answer. One of these makes sense and the other doesn't. And if we look back at our figure, here at A we have an angle of 68 that translates to a, a side length of 67 and the bigger the angle the bigger the side length is going to be here we have 45 that's smaller than 67 so angle C has got to be smaller than angle A so it's got to be this 38.5 and now to find theta all we have to do is take 180 minus 68 so let me punch that in 180 minus 68 minus 38.5 and theta should be 73.5 degrees. So that is how to use the law of signs to solve a word problem.